A while back, I put together a video with four reasons why Bitcoin will fail as a currency. On that old video, I've gotten maybe close to 500 comments. And unfortunately, some Bitcoin fans did not realize that I was talking about Bitcoin as a currency. More specifically, its ability to become a widely adopted currency. So just to be clear there, uh, I'm a huge fan of cryptocurrency. Heck, I worked in Beijing with a cryptocurrency company back in 2014. And after that, I helped with sending out about a half a million dollars worth of Bitcoin. Overall, there are many use cases for Bitcoin. It's driving some really cool innovation, and uh, I'm really interested how its underlying technologies are gonna be applied in different ways. One comment that keeps on coming up on that video I put together was on my first point. The first point being that uh, Bitcoin is inherently deflationary. And a quick recap on that. There is a finite number of Bitcoin that will ever be available. I believe it's 21 million. But on top of that, people forget their private keys and lose access to, to their Bitcoin. For example, there were some headlines recently, a hard drive that contained access to just over 7,000 Bitcoin. And that's worth roughly over $200 million worth of Bitcoin today. Although the owner can't remember his password, and he only has two attempts left. Now, I'm not sure how that's played out. Maybe he has gained access to it, or maybe he's been locked out. Um, I haven't followed up. Either way, if he failed to or fails to recover them, as many others have, those coins, the Bitcoin, it's completely out of circulation. And this adds deflationary pressure. A few people have pushed back saying there's nothing wrong with deflationary currency and it can work. Sure, I admit there are some, some attractive things to, uh, to an appreciating currency, like being able to buy more with it in the future. But that fact alone makes it less likely to be used as a currency. Gresham's law lends a hand here. It states bad money pushes out the good. If there are competing currencies, people would rather spend the depreciating currency and hold on to the one that's appreciating. So Bitcoin really wouldn't be too useful as a currency in that case with all these other competing currencies. Gold too is somewhat of an example uh, here. People clearly like holding onto it, although they spend dollars instead. So gold itself is not a very useful currency either. Although gold definitely has some other big barriers preventing it from being used as a currency as well. Uh, for example, it's not easy, it's not easily divisible for smaller transactions, and Bitcoin at least has solved that, that issue. Using history as a guide, def deflationary currencies don't have a good track record of sustainability. Maybe that can change. But once again, deflation was just one of the issues that I brought up with Bitcoin becoming a widely adopted currency. Um, you can check out my original video here. And if you found this thought provoking, I'd really appreciate it if you just tap that like button down below. Uh, that really encourages me to uh, share more of my research. Um, and as always, feel free to subscribe for more. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.